So what's going to happen in 2020? Uh, so firstly, we've seen a ton of consolidation this year. We're going to see more next year. There's about at least 75 front-end vendors in the space, and the reality is they are, can't all survive in the market as it is today. So uh, if it's not being, they're not being sucked up by large mega vendors, they're going to be roll-up strategies by VCs who are going to you know, pluck all the ones dealing with financial analytics, for example, roll them up in a single entity. Marketing analytics, roll them all up in a single entity. So we'll see a lot more of that. Um, the second area we're going to see a lot more of is packaged applications. Again, we're seeing system integrators, consulting firms uh, who are wanting to own a bigger piece of the analytics space, and they want to combine, you know, data science models, and they want to, do, you know, they want to con combine a variety of data sources, and they want to take that to market with their own deep knowledge about particular verticals and sell those as package applications. We're going to see a lot more of that. Um, as a, you know, on a sort of tangential end, very close to that, is also the rise of analytics uh, software that's not being sold as analytics software, which is a really good example of that would be Gainsight, um, who are in the you know, CSM, so customer success management space. They're fundamentally selling dashboards, but they're not packaging themselves as a dashboard. You know, they're doing data integration, they're doing all these things. Analytics, not as analytics, but someone who's got great uh, knowledge about a particular space building out a data-driven product for that space and selling it as something else. Um, we're going to see a lot of swap out of legacy BI. Um, SAP is just end-of-life uh, business objects. You're going to see a lot of customers going to be wanting to move off business objects. They have to migrate anyway, and they're going to open up and look at the market and say, you know, how do we migrate? How do we modernize? What alternatives are there apart from being locked into the SAP Analytics Cloud solution? And the very last one, uh, action analytics. I think we're going to see this, this shift, you know, and this is anyone who's doing package analytics is going to be doing this, is building actions into dashboards. So rather than just staring at a set of numbers on a page, uh, people are going to go and take a, a workflow approach that says, now that I've got the data, now that I know what people need to be doing, how do I drive action through the dashboards that we're delivering to those users? And those are the five things that I think we're going to see a lot more of next year.